Hey, what's up, guys? So, hopping back on Money Pit. Uh, build. I'm gonna finish up this dash. So this is we're building a 2016 Platinum dash uh, for the excursion, basically. Um, it's got every bell and whistle. It's gonna have an iPad kit, the Alpine. It, it, it's getting everything. The only thing we're not gonna do on it is the cluster. We're gonna wait for the cluster helper to come out because I'm not gonna build one. So other than that, I mean, this dash is plug and play. We've already had it in the truck and had the truck running. So I know everything in here works electronically. So now that we've got the vents done, all that's left is put the cosmetics on there, get the stereo mounted, get the iPad kit mounted, put the panels on, you know, put the steering wheel on and start buttoning it up. So that's what we're gonna do. So um, I guess, you know, I'll give you a quick run through of what we got going on here. Uh, so it's got my relay pack. It's got a, the power fold relay for the mirrors right there. It's got the inverter. We got the fuse box mounted. We've got all the body plugs ready to go. It's got adjustable pedals. Um, it's got an aftermarket brake controller. I'm gonna show you all that later. It's got the annoying ass pat system. Uh, one cool thing is uh, I was able to relocate the factory um, upfitter switches. Cause it usually mounts right there, but my wires were in the way. So I relocated it right here. So we're gonna still be able to use the upfitters. And then right here, I have the, this is the little module for the steering wheel controls for the audio and volume stuff. It's gonna have the power inverter, the Alpine. I've already got everything ran on the electrical side. Um, I made a mount right here for the digital AC controls. So that's mounted up with the vacuum lines running this way that'll plug into the air box. We've got the new airbag plug on there. This is my body plug that goes to the fuse box. So this powers up all the accessories and the upfitters. And then uh, HVAC. And then right here I made some mounts for the, the 4x4 gem module. And we're running the new fuel cutoff switch. So there's a lot going on on this dash for freaking sure. So other than that guys, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get crack a lacking on it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the skin. There's just one thing that sucks though is the guy that sold us all this stuff, man, he really did, like, he just, I don't know if the parts were just sitting down. This, this dash, the only thing that's really original on this dash that this guy supplied is, I think, the air tubing. So he bought a whole 2016 dash. It was practically the whole thing was fucking trash. Like, the frames had busted, welded mounts. Um, everything was bent, um, completely rusted really bad the wiring was corroded literally everything on that dash was practically garbage everything looks like this so like i'm gonna have to spend all this time cleaning it um so that's gonna be fun uh it didn't even have the correct parts on it i think it was only the only thing that was really holding the dash together when i got it was literally saran wrap i took it apart and it literally had if everything was clicked in it just fell apart so really annoying because i mean you're gonna build a platinum dash and it's gonna be beautiful on the inside but look like shit on the outside so but i'm gonna try to clean it up the best i can it is what it is so other than that uh let me go grab the dash skin i'm gonna spend some time cleaning crap um other than that uh axel's doing pretty good he, he he got his legs back he's doing good come on come on come on see ya oh so that's good all right guys let me get busy so i'll talk to y'all later okay guys i went ahead and uh pulled out the dash skin so Remember I, remember I said, uh, you know, when I got this dash, it, it was kind of a pile of crap. Um, the only thing that I'm really keeping origi or originally from that is basically the cosmetics and the air ducting. The rest of the dash I've pretty much replaced. But, um, you know, the guy spent over a thousand bucks on a platinum dash and what he got was practically garbage. And uh, it really irritates me. And, it just, and then, you know, we finally get a hold of the guy or whatever. You know, first he ghosts us for a while and then we finally get a hold of him. And then he just tells me, well, you know, it's been a while. Did you guys check it when you when you received it? You know, uh, that was, it wasn't my fault. You guys didn't check it when you got it. And it's like, bro, come on, bro. You shipped it all the way across the country like this. And you didn't do me like that. I don't know. It's not my problem, bro. So whatever. It is what it is. But luckily, this dash skin is in good shape. You know, there's no dings on it. There's no, you know, big scratches or anything. It's just everything just looks like shit. Um, definitely was left out in the rain and everything. So, um, but I think I can clean it. I think I can restore it and bring it back. Um, I can definitely tell it's sun faded a little bit. It's definitely not as black as it should be. 
you know, if you zoom in really close, you, you can see all the dirt in the grooves. So um, what I have is uh, I have Dawn soap and some water and I have a little scrubby brush and a toothbrush. And then um, I, I like to use this stuff with the microfiber and stuff. Um, and then if I really need to get some black dye in there, I like to use this spray paint. And then I like to, I have a, this is a flat black little uh, paint pen that I like to use. Um, and reason being is uh, sometimes you need to just make like a little mark on something. And you know, don't use a Sharpie, you know? Be like, oh man, my dash has got a little D on it. Let me, you know, like this, this, this right there, that little white spot, let me Sharpie it. You, no, because Sharpies aren't black. That, that's Sharpie and that ain't black. So um, this comes out black and I'll show you what I like to do. So when I like to try to bring something back to black, cause I bet I'll clean that. I bet that rust mark will still be there. So usually what I'll do, what I'm doing with this rag is sometimes I'll, I'll use this spray paint. I like to use satin black SEM. I just get it off Amazon. So I'll spray it on there cause this is a dye. And, and so, and then, you know, I'll basically wipe this, you know, I'll try to do the whole thing. Kind of like if I had some cleaner on here, basically. It's just, you know, just a little bit of dye just to bring it back, basically. That's what I like to do. And, you know, and then for little nooks and crannies, I'll use the pen. So, you guys remember how that cubby looked that I showed you on the table in bad shape? I'll show you how good it came out. It came out absolutely beautiful. Thing looks brand new. Brand new. Because of I'm not gonna lie, I spent a couple hours, probably like an hour or two cleaning it <laughs> and bringing it back to life. And the speaker was pretty rough. It, the, cleaning this was a pain in the butt, but um, I ended up just actually painting that so it actually looks brand new and fresh all the way around, clean the speaker. Check it out, we uh, able to mount the upfitters right there. I think they came out pretty sweet. And then uh, mounted the original excursion switches there. And then I swapped out the green LEDs for aqua ones. We put a flush mount USB there, and this cord's gonna come down and it's gonna go into the iPad kit we're gonna put there. And it's just going through this little hole. So if you want, you know, you just unplug it, let it chill, and then plug in your phone if you want. But it's pretty slick. And then you got an uh, aux port too. So I'm really happy that the way this came out because you guys saw this, this was pretty rough. So it's prob I'm probably gonna spend more time restoring this dash, restoring these plastic, than I am gonna be assembling it. So. Really this video is just gonna be tips and tricks on how to clean your shit. You know, um, I usually like to take this off. You can actually get this stuff at Home Depot. So if you want rip a chunk off, go to Home Depot. And for like a dollar fifty, you can get like 50 feet of this. So it just sits up against the windshield. It's really nice, but if you can get under the tape and peel it, there you go. Or if you're being lazy and you don't wanna go Home Depot, just peel it all off wipe it down it you know really won't make that big a difference but i'll probably go to home depot and get some more of this so other than that um i guess let me get to scrubbing and uh i'll let you know how she comes out and then i'm gonna mount her on the dash and then uh we're gonna go from there but other than that i'm really happy the way this cubby came out it looks freaking sweet so all right i'll be back all right guys check it out so what i'm doing is i'm just trying to get all the dirt and like gross grime out right now so I've got the dash skin kind of mounted on the dash so you know it'll stay in place and everything. It's got my little Dawn soap and some water. And I just squirt it in the bad spots. Maybe let it soak a little bit. Let it do its thing. And then I come in with my brushy. I really like this brush, it's meant for tires, but it's soft enough and perfect for plastic. You can really get into those corners and stuff. What are you doing, mister? <laughs> yeah, so I mean, there's just dirt all over this thing, but yeah, you know, just scrub a dub and uh, wipe her down. Oh, well, that's looking good. So yeah, let me just keep uh, scrubbing away and hopefully this thing will look beautiful by the time I finish it. So I got a lot of cleaning up to do, so heck yeah. All right guys, check it out. It's coming out a lot better. It's actually looking really good. You know, we're getting all that nasty stuff out of there. Um, I went ahead and tucked these clips off, cleaned them and then painted them because they were super rusty looking. But other than that, I mean, I've got this whole portion right here done. So all I'm using is Dawn soap and water and a spray bottle and a tire brush. So, I mean, it's just little plastic hairs, you know, they're soft. 
so I know it won't scratch the plastic. That's the biggest thing is you don't want to scratch the plastic, you know. I use a toothpaste to get really get in the nooks and the crannies and stuff. You know, it ain't rocket science, and then I dry it off with a terry cloth. You know, and I don't want you using one of these things. You know why? Because it'll leave scratches. So, you know, just don't use this. Don't use a bristle pad. It's way too aggressive. The tire brush is perfect. I think I got this for like five bucks at AutoZone. So, other than that, it's coming out really sweet. So I'm gonna keep working my way around. I mean, look at that. It look. I, I don't even think I need to dye it or anything. I think it's coming along. So we're gonna go ahead and clean this dirty stuff next, and just work our way down the dash. So. Heck yeah, it's coming along. All right, Mr. Axel. All right, guys, check it out. I mean, it's starting to look beautiful. I'm actually impressed. Look at this. All that dirt's coming out the, the grain. So I'm now I'm gonna work to the middle of the dash. You can see, you can, you can see the difference. Look at that beautiful, dirty. And then the driver's side's even worse. So, but yeah, I think, uh, you know, once we get it all cleaned and, you know, wiped down, you know, uh, you got a fresh surface, you know, that Dawn soap cleans it up real nice. You know, Dawn soap's good enough for the duckies, it's good enough for me. So, I'm gonna keep on scrubbing. I'm gonna just clean the whole thing now. I think you guys get the point. But other than that, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go, go to town. So, heck yeah, I'm super excited. It looks good. The dash looks good. I'm excited, so, but we still got the plastics to do too, so. All right, guys, check it out. So, I got the skin all cleaned. Man, I think it looks really good. Remember the, the driver's side was really bad and look at that, it's beautiful. I'm super excited. So um, we just got a couple little nicks and scratches I'm gonna try to fix like that one. Um, got a little dirt there I guess I missed. Oh, that's on a piece of rubber. Um, but yeah, it's coming together really sweet. Cleaned up the whole front, looking awesome. Got that top part mounted, got all my stuff plugged in. So all the electrical stuff is done. So you know, after I get done cleaning some and I can put it on, I can just plug it in. So what's taking me so long, I mean, I'm, I think I'm going on like eight hours of cleaning and doing odds and ends and stuff. So uh, the passenger airbag ones I'm a little worried about because it's actually rubber. It's not actually plastic like these guys. So but other than that, I'm just going to keep cleaning panels and clean everything up. And ooh, I'm excited. This dash is going to be going in today, boys. Ooh, boy. Okay guys, I got all the plastics clean and stuff. It's missing that little door thing. I'm gonna have to find one, but uh, uh, I've got the, the marble panels upstairs, so don't worry about those. We're just worried about the plastic right now. So everything came out really nice. I'm really glad all the dirt came out. Um, they look really nice. I think some armor all would probably make them even look even better. But uh, the Dawn soap really helps get the dirt out. So now this one, th this is more of a rubber because it splits right here when the airbag blows. And I mean, you can still see I've got dirt in there and grime. So I might scrub it one more time, maybe two more times, let it soak some more. Um, but if I can't get it out, what I'm going to do is do the, the little spray paint trick with a rag. You know, spray paint this and get this in there and come over here and do this to kind of coat it. So basically, hopefully the spray paint does something like that to it. It makes it look new. That's our goal. So it looks good wet, but then once it dries, it looks like crap. So... All right, guys, so I've tried to clean this a couple more times. I don't know how many times I've cleaned it, probably like five, six, seven, eight times. Um, and the stain still could coming back when it dries. You know, I've tried everything, scrubbing it uh, hard, everything, but uh, it still looks kind of like shit. Um, so the next step what I'm gonna try to do is, you know, just you know, put a little bit of dye in these cracks. You know, maybe that's just what she needs. Cause this is rubber, so it does absorb shit. So what I'm gonna do is basically spray paint, you know, a corner, get this soaked and just rub it in and see what happens. So let me, let me do that. It's gonna take obviously two hands. So hopefully it works. Cause that does look like crap. Okay guys, actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how I do this. So basically I just get the corner of the rag soaked in, in paint and stuff. And you just come over here and it's just like you're polishing a shoe basically. You see how it gets on there? You get it up in the staining spots. Literally just try to make it even, make it go everywhere. You know, spread, spread, ah, spread the love, basically. I think that's gonna, that's really gonna help it. I don't wanna spray paint it because it will be, you know, too shiny. And I don't want it to look spray painted. So that's why we're doing this, you know, basically, we're, we're basically polishing the shoe. That's what I'm trying to do right now. Being rubber, I bet it's no different than a shoe. 
<clears throat> might be an army trick, you know what I'm saying? But, all right, now my fingers, yep, that's what my fingers look like after I shine a shoe. But, look, it's black. There's no more crap all over it. So we're gonna let it dry. Let me wipe it down some more, and hopefully, you know, it looks good, so. But I made sure it already looks better. All right, so, usually after you, even if you, uh, you do my little trick with the rag and then you go ahead and even let's say you go ahead and spray paint it. The reason I do it with the rag is because I want the thinnest coat on here. I just want a little bit just to get over that bullshit that was on here. I don't need a full coat. I don't need none. I just I just need a little bit of stain basically. It's like you staining some wood, you know, but I don't know if you notice it's pretty freaking shiny compared to the rest of the dash, especially sitting at the driver's seat. You look over. It's definitely a lot shinier than everything else on the dash. You know, it, it's noticeable, especially getting in. That's how like, I'll see people when they spray paint their dashes, you, you notice right off the bat, it doesn't look right. Cause this black is like flat or matte. This is, you know, it, it's flat, very flat. And it doesn't matter what spray paint you use or whatever you do, it always just looks too shiny, right? So I'm gonna show you how to get rid of that shininess, okay? So little tip and trick. You got your Dawn soap and, and uh, water, right? So soak the thing, right? Remember that bristle pad I said don't use on the plastics? Or are you gonna use it on this rubber? And basically what we're doing is just dulling the paint to match. You'll be surprised what it'll come out like. I'm not gonna get too close to that edge because I don't want to scratch this. So this is rubber, okay? It'll be good for it. But then make sure you, you know, get in the letters. So we'll do the super, but we won't do the duty just so you can see a little bit of difference. You know, I'm not pushing too hard either, you know. Make sure you're doing it nice and even. Wipe her down, see what she looks like. Okay. Speed things up, let her dry. Ooh, but tell me that's not more on the money. Look, it's not glossy. It's not crazy shiny. So I'm definitely gonna, uh, I'll take it off one more time and probably go through that bristle pad one more time. But it's definitely a lot more on the money. So there you go, the more you know. Okay guys, I think we're right on the money there. There we go, look at that. I mean, that transition looks pretty good. It's not super shiny at all. Looks good, I like it, I like it, I like it, so. There we go, I like it. So, uh, I've got some armor, armor all everything, it'll probably look pretty sweet. So, uh, the next step is, you know, dealing with scratches and stuff, some big ones. Um, like this one, it's a little bit light, so sometimes I'll come in with a lighter. Just darken it up a little bit. is gone so but you got to be very careful with the lighter you don't want to get too crazy with it all right guys i'm gonna call it a day on this one i'm not gonna lie i spent all day cleaning this freaking thing i'm, I'm over it so i mean i cleaned the sides they're looking fresh you know, the whole top's looking beautiful nice and clean the whole thing the whole thing's immaculate now i'm very happy with it looks very good you know colors are pretty spot on I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. So I uh, went ahead and pulled these bad boys out. I might do a little cleaning on them. They're not exactly perfect either. So um, with these, um, to get rid of these little scratches and scuffs, what I actually do is I go get a, like a headlight repair kit from like AutoZone or something with like 
comes with like 1,000 grit, 2,000, 3,000 grit sandpaper, and you just wet sand this, and basically you, it, it, it's it got clear coat on it. So basically you're just gonna, you know, make the clear coat nice and even and then buff it out, and you can bring these back to brand new. So the clear coats on here is pretty thick, so you got a lot to work with. So that's one way to fix these. Uh, I don't have that kit, so I'm not gonna show you how to do that, but if you want to, that's how I fix those. So other than that, uh, I, I mean, shoot, this, it, it, it looks like a brand new dash almost. The plastics look so much better. Honestly, I was really worried about this one, but look at that. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. So, all right, I hope this helps someone out. You know, if your dash looks like shit, this is how you restore it. You know, we got everything squared away. I even found a little door. Um, so, my next video is gonna be the uh, the fancy, expensive Alpine, the iPad kit. We're gonna put the, the AC controls here put my bezels on here, get the four by four switch going, all that good stuff. So yeah, I, I, I need to take a break, I'm tired guys. This is a lot of clean, so I'll see y'all later.